Um, Adam from Bondi. Everybody, good to see you again. So Adam, I'm going to ask you a little bit of a different question this time. Um, <laughs> he's nervous. Um, so if, um, I'm, I have a few questions, and this one is, okay, if you had to dress up for an entire week as any Star Wars character, all day long, for an entire week, who would it be? Oh, wow, that's a tough one. Um, probably go Jango Fett. Django Fett. But, um, or Boba. I would definitely go Or Jar Jar. Yeah, or Jar Jar. Or Jar Jar. That's what I was thinking. Um, so, so Adam. But I was—I thought you were going to ask me a vehicle question. You want a vehicle question? Oh, yeah, it's a wing. Always a wing. A wing. Yeah, I like a wing. Yeah. No, a wing for Adam. All right, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I know that you are absolutely a huge Star Wars fan. I know that Bondi is full of people who are interesting and who are Star Wars fans and have an incredible desire to bring out every detail. Um, of product, so why don't you tell me a little bit about some of the Bondi fandom of Star Wars? Well, I thought I was a big fan within the company. Um, I think last time we were talking about you know, what Star Wars means to you. Uh, my daughter Leia was born on Force Friday, uh, 2015, September 4th, so it was an easy decision for her name. But there's another individual in our company. Who just it's just a good thing you didn't call her Force Friday. No, I didn't call her Force Friday, but I mean it was meant to be. Um, but we do have uh, another individual in our company who literally takes the cake. Uh, he celebrated at his wedding. Um, that's his Han and Leia wedding cake topper. Um, his son's name Luke. I should introduce him to my daughter, I guess. Um, and uh, that's, uh, yeah, that was kind of sick. Actually, anyhow, going on. <laughs> going on, uh, here's his tattoo. Um, and get, uh, this is David, uh, who works on our uh, social media and our digital um, marketing right now. And he's managing our com community and we'll be reaching out through our Bluefin brands. And that's Bluefin brands on all uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. And that's his awesome tattoo. And so moving on, I know you guys want to hear about Ooh. Samurais and Star Wars and how they intertwine. Um, you know our May Show movie realization series by now, and we visited the classic trilogy. Our most recent release uh, last year was the Kanrechi, which means kind of a cold area. Uh, Ashigaru, which means uh, soldier snow trooper, with that nice massive e-web and a sort of a flintlock type uh, style. And we visited the prequel trilogy. Darth Maul is extremely popular right now at our booth. So hey, Darth Maul. Um, and Django as well as a Ronin. Um, and then we finally have somebody with the Rebel Insignia, uh, who's our most recent release, um, Honyaku Karakuri C-3PO. Karakuri is kind of like a puppet that was used um, in, uh, for tea ceremonies and other ceremonies during the uh, feudal period in Japan. 16 titles in all, but we still don't have an admiral yet. I know you guys are waiting for that. Um, uh, there's oh, actually one that I'm I waiting know. for. Her. The Gamorrean Guard. The Gamorrean Guard, yeah. Uh, but anybody else waiting for a Gamorrean Guard? Um, bringing you the future now. Uh, I know we're getting a lot of questions at the booth. Um, and uh, you know, we have on display uh, Kylo Ren with an extremely uh, ornamented helmet there, if you can see the fine detail. Um, Ashigaru, first order star trooper. You notice the chest plate is totally different from the, the original Ashigaru. Um, a nice scoped uh, blaster there. And um, so this is the Star Wars Celebration panel where we make announcements. So you're gonna hear it here first, and I know you guys are, are ready to hear that. So first is the First Order coming out in September. Woo! And previews will open soon for that next month. Uh, also, we are confirming here, October for Kylo Ren is an official release, so you're hearing it here first. And the photo does not do it justice because we don't have a professional photo, so please come to the booth because her sword is ridiculous. Um, and Phasma will be coming out in November. So those are our fall releases, and you've heard it here first. Also, another announcement for you because they're uh, pretty much non-present uh, right now is backed by popular demand. Uh, Darth Vader and Boba Fett will both have reissues. 
for summer 2019. Uh, thank you. Uh, so going on to our model kits, uh, I was thinking about when Brian was talking about how these are more than just products here. And I was at a panel once in MIT, and I think the professor there explained these collectibles as tactile media. And I think that's, that's really the truth with our, our model kits manufactured in Japan. Uh, 500 million model kits have been uh, done so far. Uh, it's kind of an interactive thing we're having right now. Has, has anybody made a Star Wars model kit before, whether it be Ravel or Fine Molds? Okay, well, quite a few. But please come to our booth. We're doing workshops, giving out free kits. Um, this is really a fun experience to do it. No glue required. A lot of patented technologies here where we're using the different colors in the same sprue. And the most recent thing that uh, opened up for pre-order is uh, talking about meticulous detail, this one five thousandth scale Star Destroyer. And there's the LED version that we have on display at the booth. Uh, as this, I know uh, this uh, panel here is also kind of about behind the scenes stuff. And so just to mention some things about uh, our Star Destroyer here, um, we used the actual, there was some kit patching involved on the R&D side, and they're using actual components of the Star Destroyer prop. Uh, to get it in scale, um, and we've identified and gathered a lot of parts that were used to create the details. Um, they were 3D scanned, and uh, a lot of the, again, the parts of the movie props have actually been used. And we're talking about meticulous detail here. Um, there are some of the parts on the bridge, um, some of those slats right there, uh, that are as small as, or less than one millimeter in length. So these are all extremely meticulous. Uh, you get an up-close view, again, at our booth. Um, as a lot of stuff is, of course, under embargo for the new episode, I don't have much to announce, except that there will be a massive announcement at an extremely small scale in May. Um, and that's all I can say on that one, so please stay tuned on our social media. It's Blueprint Brands. Also at our booth and from our uh, hobby department is the uh, Triple Zero. So uh, not just Protocol, but Torture. This is from the Dr. Alpha comic series. So please definitely stop by. It's booth number 2223. Uh, and also, again, we're doing some workshops, model contests. Um, we have some, an awesome campus photo gallery as well of the May Show series, and uh, a lot of cool displays, products, and we're part of that pin trading program. You can get your ad ad driver at our booth. And again, please follow us on Bluefin Brands. And now that's the time when we say, Stacy, we love you. 